you asked, how can I tell if dangerous asbestos is in my roof installation? So one of the biggest things that you can do to your house to really save money in the long run for heating costs is actually obviously install insulation or double check that you have insulation etc because insulation overall the money that you spend versus the investment you get over decades is definitely worth it. The problem is it, possibly before 1980s a lot of the roof insulation included asbestos and if there's asbestos in your roof insulation that can be rather dangerous. So how do I know if I have asbestos in my roof insulation. So asbestos was really, really popular in Australia in the 50s and 60s with lots of brands around and they all put it into insulation which then went into the roof. And as long as that uh, roof insulation doesn't get disturbed, um, it can actually still be staying in the house. But there's also other areas uh, like in Canberra where they put loose fill asbestos into the home uh, with a company I think called Dr. Fluffy. And this particular situation was so bad that those homes all had to be purchased and demolished uh, because basically it was uh, very unsafe for anybody to physically live in there. My suggestion when it comes to insulation, you do not go to old insulation and check it out yourself. You do get an expert in because quite frankly, if it is asbestos and you muck around with it and breathe it in, it could be even deadly. Uh, around 700 workers have already in the past died of uh, asbestos related cancers and uh, the ACT Mr. Fluffy thing alone exposed over 30,000 people to asbestos. So it is a very very serious matter and it comes in about four different types. So there's loose fill, there's pipe wrap, there's spray on asbestos as well as it comes in blocks. I'm not asking you now to become an expert and investigate it yourself, etc. I'm simply saying that if you have insulation in your house and the house was built before 1980, there is a certain amount of chance that part of that insulation could have asbestos in it. And for that reason, you really want an expert to come out. You must do nothing till we have consulted with the experts. The more recent insulation is often made out of polyester or made out of fiberglass. It's very difficult for a layperson to can tell the difference between those various components and for that reason strongly advise it. Because if you disturb it and it peels apart then those asbestos fibers can be released in the air, you can breathe it in and then that can cause various forms of cancers in the long run. It takes 10, 15, 20, up to 30 years for those cancers to come through, but it is very, very serious. Please recognize if you're a home renovator and you find a loose or even sheeting uh, insulation and it looks like it was put in at least 20, 30 years ago, in that case, do not touch it, call the expert, it is a danger to be avoided. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.